YouTube. How the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video on the map Standoff. This is taking place in a 4v4 game battles match where I was playing with Method, Scump, and Merc. And before we get into the gameplay, I want to give you guys some sort of reference as to what you're watching. So we were waiting in the lobby, awaiting the other team to invite their fourth member, and then one of them asked Methods to tell me to come to the game chat so they can talk. And usually when they do that, it's either they want to talk to me and, and joke around or they want to talk some trash. So I was a little apprehensive about it, but then I went to game chat chat and found out that they wanted to talk trash about the video that was released of where Aix pushed me after we beat them in the, the UMG Chicago event. I'm not going to get into the pushing altercation, but this guy was under the impression that he punched me, which didn't happen. Either way, I, I really don't want to address the issue because nothing happened and it's in the past. Uh, we won the event, all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I snapped off really in the game and I played out of my shoes. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and YouTube. We'll talk to you in a second here. You remember that? Yeah, dude, yeah, that old ass talk. They, 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 they want to go to game chat. I'm not quick. going to game chat. Dude, they're fans. They're bro. not fans. They're like 5-0. and oh. I don't know why they want you to come you to me to go talk now. shit? Hold on. Yes, Seth, you joined me. What do they, what are they, what are they like... Yeah, what's up? Yo, uh, you're too soft. You're too fucking soft. Okay. You got punched in the face, you're too soft. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Why would they want? I said, you're too fucking soft, you got punched in the face. That's all he said? Yeah, yeah what did he say? He said, you're too soft, you got punched in the face. What an idiot. <laughs> Knock him the fuck out. Alright, so we're back. You guys heard that. Uh, I, I still have no idea. However, for whatever reason, people think that I was punched in the face and, and didn't do anything about it. And I really didn't want to address it, but so many people have asked me about it. So after we won the UMG Chicago event, and you guys saw this in the post-gaming vlog, uh, or the post-UMG vlog, that I, I really do regret how we celebrated as a team with the trash talk. So then I went over to shake uh, the members of Complexity, their hands, uh, just like you do after every game. And I, I shook Crimstick's hands and I shook uh, Fears' hand. I went to go shake Ake's hand and he pushed me. Long story short, it, it, you know, it was just a very small altercation. And for whatever reason, when that video got posted online, uh, thousands of people are under the impression that I was punched in the face. And is really not true at all he pushed me a little bit nothing else happened after that and it was all said and done now a lot of people ask me why i didn't make a physical altercation and the reason being is because i'm not going to jeopardize my all my hard work and and getting potential sponsors to represent me and so that i have the chance to represent their company and other things like that i don't want to ruin my reputation and, and my image for uh, for someone just pushing me. It's not worth it. I have no desire to do that. And it's not a big deal. Things happen. Life happens. I, I'm not, I, I, and from the bottom of my heart, like, I'm, I'm not really mad at aches. Like, I, I could care less. It's really not uh, a big deal. Things happen. It's in the past. It's whatever. So, like, it's, it's really irrelevant. And, and people see it as drama, so they take it so serious. And it, they make it such a big part of, like, when they talk to me or when they try and... Uh, talk trash to me. They bring it up. It's, like it's not important at all. It's so irrelevant. But people try and and just bring it up constantly. So it's whatever, man. So when these guys started talking trash, uh, I for whatever reason something just snapped, and I felt like I was the best player in the game. And it seemed like everything that I did worked. You know, I usually don't use an M8, but I felt like whatever reason, this is the time to use an M8. And as you guys can see here in the rest of this gameplay, uh, it works out pretty well in my favor. Now, I plan to do a video today about using grip in competitive play and just in general, like to see if grip actually is beneficial to a gun and winning gunfights. But that video is going to come tomorrow. A lot of people tell me grip is useless, but I'll get into that in every single way tomorrow in, when I post that video. But what I want to talk to you guys about today is Search and Destroy on Black Ops 2. Today, Skump, Merc, and I are going to be playing a 3v3 premium Search and Destroy tournament on Game Battles. First place is $1,000 split three ways. So 
I will be live streaming that. So if you guys want to come out, hang out, check out the stream, uh, there's going to be a link in the description below. I'm probably going to go live around 4.15 or 4.30 Central Standard Time. So that's 5.15 Eastern and about 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys want to check out the stream, uh, you're welcome to do so. And so Black Ops 2 Search and Destroy. I feel like in every Call of Duty franchise, Search and Destroy maps have a certain feel to them. In Call of Duty 4, there were the greats. that You had Pipeline, Search and Destroy. You had Crash, Strike, Backlot, District. So many good Search and Destroy maps, and just maps in general. And, and that's why I reminisce back on Call of Duty 4 when I played Search and Destroy literally all day on that game because I have such vivid and good memories of competition and just the maps honestly it's so good vacant uh so many so many different variable or variations in in how maps are played and how they feel and then you go to modern warfare 2 which had maps like uh what did what did modern warfare 2 have obviously it wasn't that that great because they're not too uh they're not really set in my mind. For whatever reason, I can't think of any Modern Warfare 2 maps right now. What maps did we play in Modern Warfare 2? Oh, uh, High High Rise? High Rise, I think, I believe was a map. Invasion was a great map. High Rise, Invasion. I'm, I'm forgetting other ones uh, for whatever reason. But Then you go to Modern Warfare 3 and you have maps like Bootleg, Dome, Lockdown. Some just... Every single Call of Duty has maps where people just fall in love and, and they're notorious for how those maps played and how they felt. But I, I feel like in Black Ops 2, I enjoy playing every search and destroy map that they have to offer. So for Major League Gaming, we play uh, Slums, Plaza, Standoff, uh, Raid, and I believe I'm missing one more. But either way, man, I absolutely adore the black ops 2 search and destroy maps i have so much fun like standoff when i get to play standoff i i'm excited i'm feeling it uh as you guys can see here going into the seventh round i already have 11 kills and uh, this last round is probably my favorite because i i literally just get kills at will and just do my thing so uh this was I just want to talk to you guys about a lot of different things. I know this commentary was kind of all over the place, but I felt like you guys needed to know about the pushing situation. Uh, you guys needed to know about my opinion on Search and Destroy. And then you got I told you guys about the stream and then tomorrow's video, which is going to be about using grip. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video as this one is coming to a close. I hope to see you guys in the live stream today. And as you guys can see there, uh, we beat the Trash Talker 6-2. to two, And... Uh, you guys can see there 14 and 2. I appreciate you guys watching and YouTube. We'll see you fucking later. Yo, dudes, before I go, I want you guys to know that you can check out my previous video, which is a sick Capture the Flag comeback with the FaZe Clan, including Optic, and then you guys can check out all my social media links on the description. Appreciate you guys watching. See you guys later.